Good morning, gang. Happy Thursday morning. Okay, this falls into the when you can't trust your government, who the hell, who the hell can you trust? Okay, not that we've had a trustworthy government in oh, I don't know, my lifetime. Uh, but this is starting to get a little crazy. And you want to talk about black swan events? This could really be one. Okay. Many of you probably saw yesterday the story that was first covered by ABC News, Liberal ABC. Remember, this is the channel that hires George Stephanopoulos, okay? <laughs> so, you know, Clinton spokesperson and, uh, you know, laughed when Ann Coulter said Donald Trump was going to wind up winning the 2016 election. ABC reported yesterday that the White House and Congress are now following, I guess for lack of a better word, a story that Russia is trying to develop nuclear weapons in space to take out our satellites. Now, could we take out ours, could we take out China's, could we take out anybody's, but nuclear weapons in space, you take out some satellite, you're going to take out a whole lot of them. I mean, there's hundreds of satellites, if not thousands of them, circling the Earth. Okay. When this broke yesterday, okay, uh, and you, this came from originally Mike Turner, who's the chairman of the Intelligence Committee, started talking about this about wanting to declassify this information, that Biden needed to declassify this so the public knew what was going on. Antenna went up, eyebrows were raised, and all of a sudden the people are aware, oh my God, Russia is developing, doesn't have, as far as we know, okay, does not have them in space already, but they are developing these types of weapons. Now, let's look at both sides of this, okay? If Russia did develop something like that, the war continues, Russia decides to go after the United States or whatever, hey, here's the easiest way to take out the United States. You destroy our communications. I mean, pick away, okay? I mean, satellite's gone, so you have no satellite link for anything, which means internet, which means television, which means cell phones, you name it, okay? Because, sure, a lot of it runs on the surface, if you will, but you're not picking up your television stations strictly through a wire through the ground, okay? Just giving you this. Or your phone. I mean, it's a cell phone. It's still running sub satellite but again destroying communications internet is a lot satellite based <clears throat> not all okay but giving you this if you're watching a video seeing something from australia or europe or something like that the data is not being transferred by cable okay we don't have cables from los angeles to sydney australia so you look at that at first and you go, okay, this is kind of what we all fear. Could this be the SHTF event where we go into the one second after scenario? Takeout communication is pretty much just effective, just as effective as taking out the grid. Uh, you completely grind an economy to a halt and at that point, and news can't spread, okay? panic sets in. But then you look at the other side, and this is where I say you can't trust anybody. Do we trust Vladimir Putin? Of course not, okay? I mean, Bill Clinton screwed that up to be uh, allies of any sort, you know, so we can go all the way back to that point. But is this just a black swan event, a complete scare tactic by the U.S. to panic the people. Oh, we we need to declassify something about 
intelligence in regards to Russia. And of course, that runs its course, freaks people out. Well, maybe this will convince the public to start supporting sending billions upon billions of dollars more to Ukraine because we need whatever we can to stop Russia. The big fear, right? Again, Washington completely misses the big picture who our true enemy is, China, okay? And complete, uh, completely <clears throat> continues to live with their head in the clouds saying, the Cold War still exists. We need to have that. Let's continue our Cold War policies that ended 30 years ago. <clears throat> okay. So, you know, you take a look at some of what's going on. And obviously talk to Mrs. P about stuff like this, you know, to get her impression. Now, <clears throat> let's think about whether or not this could be true. We know both sides of the conspiracy theories on it. Well, let's talk about this. Nobody with a brain, including me, thought Russia would, would invade Ukraine. But they did. Okay. Okay. Therefore, you can't really rule out the fact that they might use weapons like this or developing weapons like this. And again, like I said at the top, <clears throat> directed at us, directed at Europe, directed at China. Hell, Ukraine is using Starlink, right? Maybe they're just directed at Elon Musk. So Ukraine can't use satellite communications. Just saying, okay? I mean, it could be World War III-esque, or it could be very regional, you know, that wants to be done. Now, of course, the Kremlin has dismissed any ideas of this. Big surprise, okay? You know, it's not like they're going to go, oh, gee, you caught us, okay? Okay. No different than Joe Biden coming up and saying, well, yeah, you know what? I have been taking money from China for the last 20 years. You know, he's not going to admit it. Okay. So you start thinking about what this is. And could this be the black swan that the liberal elites are using to bring the population into conformity? Okay. Okay. You know, you think about, first off, how this started. It was, the story was picked up by ABC, NBC jumped on real quick, CBS jumped on real quick, and all of a sudden it was all the liberal media channels that were pushing this story last night. Okay. Go look on Fox News this morning, for example, not that they're that conservative anymore anyway. Story doesn't even make make the front page of their website. Nowhere. Okay. You can't tell me that it's not something that's important. Okay. Now, again, you've got to remember what the media world is. I mean, it's a circular firing squad. Uh, you know, their sources are other journalists half the time. It's like, oh, okay, this, you know, look at any of the TV talk shows or whatever it is. It's one journalist interviewing another journalist. Gee, you know, it's not the source. It's just my opinion to talk with your opinion. We just happen to agree. So therefore, it must be fact, right? Okay. But think about what they're trying to sell us. Okay. Panic. Right? Okay. Send more money to Ukraine. Right? These are... Democrat ideas, liberal ideas, that, okay, what else have they sold us? Oh, I don't know. This, that turned out really good, okay? They're trying to push this pandemic X, right? Hell, I mean, we've seen stories and heard about Washington worried about alien invasions, right? Okay, you know. They're doing anything they can to push a narrative that the people need to stop thinking for themselves and 
do what the government says because the government knows best. I remind you of this. Okay. Now, who's the who's the greatest boogeyman for Washington? It's always been Russia. We got a bunch of 80-year-olds in there that grew up in the uh, Cold War. You know, they've never forgotten about it. I mean, don't remember or don't forget Nancy Pelosi coming out yesterday when she or two days ago when she was questioned about Biden's age because he's younger than me. That's a problem, Nancy. Okay. We know you are as corrupt and senile as he is. Okay. But so start thinking about the potential for a domestic attack that all of a sudden could be blamed on somebody else. You know, we all know there's internet kill switches all over the place, right? Okay. I mean, proof, proof, proof of them exist. You know, around uh, January 6th, they just shut the internet off in that local area. You could cell phones, Wi-Fi, anything like that. They just shut it off. Imagine they do something like that now. Just shut the internet off. I mean, guy throws a switch, big deal. And all of a sudden it's, Russia took out our satellites. There's no truth to it. But how often does truth matter to the mainstream media? Pretty much never would be about right. I mean, what, Trump, Trump's indicted, what, 91 times or something like that, or 91 felonies? There's not a shred of truth to any of them. But... Okay, we'll do it anyway, and we'll report it. I mean, the term insurrection, okay? Not a single person has been charged with, in, not charged, not convicted, charged with insurrection, including Donald Trump, but they call everybody an insurrectionist, okay? Now, you know, think, of, think about it this way. Imagine everybody in your neighborhood calling you a murderer. You've never been charged with murder. You've never been convicted with murderer with murder, but they keep calling you that. So now you're the town murderer. You never did anything, but they're just going to keep doing it until it sticks. Okay. You know, the old Joseph Goebbels line, tell a lie often enough until people believe it's truth. That's what we got going on. Same thing with this. Could the plan be, besides the fact of, gee, let's scare people into funding Ukraine, could the plan be, well, because of all this going on, now we'll throw the switch, let's declare martial law, okay, and let's cancel an election. We know how weak the Republicans are in Congress. They talk a big game on the TV news channels, but then sit with their tail tucked between their legs when they're in the halls of Congress. They're not going to do anything but toe the line with this. Nobody believes them anymore. They do not act with our best interests in mind. They're all part of the swamp. There's no question. I mean, somebody who I thought was a true patriot, John Kennedy from Louisiana. I, How somebody can do something with one act that completely loses the complete trust of people. I have no idea, but he managed. Okay. It was political suicide for him. The rest of them, the Mitt Romneys and the John Cornyns and stuff like that, we understood they're Democrats. They, they, they ran on a Republican ticket because they were in a Republican state and they figured that was an easy way to get elected. But they're Democrats. They have, they have no conservative values whatsoever. John Kennedy, I thought, was different. I was wrong. But again, they're going to lie to us. They're going to fabricate this story. They're going to make it out to be something bigger than it is. Because that's how you control a population. You know, after all, we're the government. We know what's best for you, right? And while I, 